Okay, so here we are with Audacity. It's here in my bottom line here. I'm going to open it. Open, yes. Click OK. And we can start recording. Recording is this simple button right here. Hi, how are you? It's really good to see you. It's been so long. You look great. Stop the recording in case there's been a mistake. Now the cursor goes all the way back to the beginning. And what happens with Audacity is if you hit record again, it's going Hi, to start recording. Hi, how are you? It's from really the good to see you. It's been want so that. long. So I'm going to stop this. Click the X. That will disappear. Now I'm ready to save this. Click OK. And I'm going to save it as Eric Audacity. Not audacious, audacity. Save. Keep saving, keep saving, keep saving. Now, if I click my cursor here to where we started again and hit record, then I'm going to start recording again from the point where we were. And I'll hit stop. Now, what happens then is when you export it, export, file, export, let me just show you that again. File, export, it's right into an mp3 file which is great. What it will do is it will put everything into a mono and here's where you save it. The artist is Katie Adler and it's the app recording. Well that's not, that's what you would put. I'll put Audacity. <laughs> Hit OK. And it's going to mix it down to a mono channel, one channel, which is just what I want. And here it shows up. Hi, how are you? It's really good to see you. It's been so long. You look great. Then I'm going to start recording again from the point where we were. Okay, so that's everything. Now, if I'm going to click this off and click this off and start again. Easiest with Audacity is to just keep going. If you make a mistake, just keep going. You can do simple editing, and you might want to ask the people who are recording for you when they make a mistake to make a boop, and it makes a very loud waveform. And then you'll know that's an easy place to go back and do your editing from. Boop! Every time you have a mistake. Um, then what you do is you'll stop it, Click your file, export, save, now if you want to do some editing all you do is take your cursor, highlight what you want to get rid of and hit delete and save. Make sure you save all the time and you can go down here is the bar which you can use to bring things forward and backward. It's a little bit easier. This moves your waveform and here I see another boop. I can take that out. Of course you'll be taking out all of the mistakes. And then I hit With audacity save. is to I'm going to hit save. I'll just do control save. Command save. And then again export. All the information is there, save it, and I'm going to replace it, great. So it's saved again. That should get you through. If you have any questions, let me know if there's something specific that you want to find out about. Take care. Bye.